Domenico Spataro here on the John Mandola Show. A uh, lot of tradition here at Lakeland. Uh, let's talk a little bit about what you hope to do to, to leave your mark here in 2022. Well, um, when I sort of came up as a freshman, that's when Coach P like took over as coach. And the tradition of Lakeland really like running the ball sort of changed a little bit. Like we still run the ball, but we're um, definitely more pass heavy team now. But um, just like leaving a good mark, like we have a good, really good chance to really make like our dent on the like the Lakeland um, like tradition. And just to like we have a, a hopeful to win districts, hopefully. Um, but our goal this year is to make a run at states, and I think it's really doable, and it'll be fun. You guys have a core group of guys back, but there's those other guys, you know, guys you got to get in the lineup, guys you got to get up to speed, the younger guys. What are you guys doing as leaders to try to bring them up to speed to say, it's a team game. This is important to have those positions, 9, 10, 11, those starters, and then maybe guys off the bench that can contribute. Um, definitely. We have um, a lot of kids that played, like, bits and pieces last year, and um but they are definitely filling a big role this year because um, we graduated a couple of kids. We have definitely a lot of kids coming back that already like kind of had roles, but these new kids that like, come in and have played previously, we're just helping them out like in practice, like tell them they mess up with play, tell them like what to do and um, just trying to help them learn. Like they ask for help, we're always here for them. We're in there lifting with them, just like kind of like getting the team on um, morale like all together. You have the good fortune of having an older brother looking up to him, I'm sure. What was that like for you to say, okay, he's laying the foundation. These are the things I need to do. It was definitely um, like seeing his hard work and stuff. Like he's the all-time leading rusher. Like that's something that like um, I don't think I'll beat the um, get up to uh, the all-time leading passer here at Lakeland. But um, it's just something like seeing what he did and seeing um, like what his graduating class did that they really put kind of Lakeland back on the map in one districts. Um, it was the first time in a while, and now seeing what we did last year, we went 10 and two. Um, just one game before districts, we got knocked out, but. We have a good run. Um, I think we'll be just perfect. Did you feel like people last year underestimated you, and now going to 2022, you think that still might be the case? I definitely think, like Coach P always says, don't read the news and stuff, and we don't really keep track with that. Um, whether they said we're going to go all in 10 or 10 or no, it doesn't really phase us, so we don't really get too much like in depth with that. But I definitely think last year when we lost all those big pieces when we won districts, that next year, just like this past year, um, they definitely underestimated us. And but we came out and we went 10 and two and um, we didn't really like read anything or go in the news that much. But this year, I definitely think people will have high hopes for us. And, um, but we're not, we're not gonna get into that. We're just gonna find a place to play football. Whether it's handing the ball off or throwing or something, you feel like you have some weapons this year? 100%, I got a lot of weapons. I know that for a fact. Let's talk about the speed, but then there's power. It's, it's the perfect combination for the game of football. You guys have both. Yeah, um, we got a big tight end. He's a real strong, good run blocking. He can put the ball anywhere and he'll, you have a really good chance of him going up and getting it. We got a lot of speed, um, a state uh, medalist in the 100. Um, and then Kevin, I think he's the best route runner in the league um, easily. But um, just a lot of kids, new kids coming up like Riley Ravinsky. Um, didn't really play a ton last year, played bits and pieces. Like, um, But he'll come around and he's getting it. Um, but just everything, like my running back, Evan Poaches, he played a, um, running back a little bit last year. But just everyone's just coming around, and I think everyone's strengths really come together to make whole. We were talking about you as a quarterback. Would you say you could be a little bit like a Houdini, hard to grab, hard to get, or you know you throw darts, athletic enough to run or throw the football? It's definitely my um my goal every single time when I get up to the line is just read the defense and try to make a play with my arm. Um, just read the play if it. I, someone is wide open I'm definitely gonna try to get the ball there but as soon as it breaks now and then my receivers know to just run around the field and try to get open find a spot and we did a really good job with that last year and just scrambling my whole line um does a really good job as soon as they see me start going they start like shifting and like fade into spots too so it's just really good chemistry that we all have let's talk about the weight room all you guys look like you're pretty fit how hard have you guys been grinding yeah we've been um well, we've been gone since July 5th, but there's a countless number of guys that have been lifting all throughout the offseason. So um, we definitely know that's a big step, especially if you want to make a run at the state level, that you're going to meet teams that aren't just kind of like from around here, that they're like the real deal. So um, we know that, but we're coming ready. Great to catch up to you. Have a great season. Thank you.